Cheers, everybody. Welcome to the fourth and final Coronation Beer Range selection from Aldi. Yes, we got the last one, and the last one, I think, well, I got it wrong in the last one, didn't I? I was saying that the last one was going to be the worst one, but it's ended up being the best one. So in this one, I think this one will be the best one over the last one. <laughs> We've got... <laughs> We've got an organic IPA from the Great British Brewing Company, which is Freedom Brewery. And we've got Long May He Rain. And this is clocking in at 4.5% ABV, £1.79 in Aldi with the other three. And it's an organic IPA. How organic? Couldn't tell you. Organic hops, organic malts. It says organic India Pale Ale with white wine. So obviously, what's gone on here is, is that someone somewhere doing the numbers in the books has turned around and said, well, we need to do an IPA, but we need to sell it for £1.79. So somebody at the brewery, no, I don't think somebody at the brewery, be somebody in Aldi who says, well, we need to get the cost of the ingredients down. What are we going to do to fill it out? Well, we've got some dodgy Liebfrau milk, which has been doing around the Aldi stores, which we can't fucking get rid of. Why don't we just chuck that in the boil as well with the smallest minute quantity of hops? And there you go. <laughs> that is how you make money, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we've got a um yeah king charles cavalier and always you know anyway <laughs> just crack it open like you do um i'm gonna just chuck it in chuck it in and at the end of this wonderful video i'm gonna get the other the rest of the band together and I will tell you which one I think is the best and which one I think is the worst out of the four beers. Now, these beers, I've said in my first video, because these videos are coming up at half-hour intervals, I decided to just put them all up tonight because I know I've got another Coronation beer to do tomorrow, which will come up, and I've got a stack of ale and a little dabble of craft beer to do for next week. Did you know, this is what you're thinking now, actually I do plan my uploads out. I've still got a ton of uploads to put out there, but there's more exciting stuff in that box now, which I want to show you lot before any of the other stuff I've got in the archives. <laughs> so I'll stick that there for now. <laughs> While I've been talking to you, the head's disappeared on this beer. It might be the leaf fowl milk, you know. Let's get the aroma. Well, at the moment, it's not really getting much. You're getting a hint of caramel. It feels very much an old school, traditional IPA. Something that Marston's would brew. Something that Marston's would brew. Hang on. Look, I'm getting sunlight now. We had rain at the beginning. Hang on. Let's pause it. Something that Marsden's would brew, like uh, an old empire type of thing. That's what I'm getting. Do I get any white wine? Well, if they've been putting the old blue nun leaf fowl milk in this, I don't get it at the moment. So, I'm going to go in. Cheers. <laughs> oh, um, did I say in the last one? I can't remember. Um, long live the king. No, is it long live the king? I don't know. Cheers, Charlie. Well, what do I think of that? Hmm. Going again. If there is white wine in it, it's a very, very limited quantity. Um, for me, it's quite malty, slightly grainy. I mean, as well, the hoppiness is, 
it does feel an old school IPA, like a Marston's Old Empire. You know, it's malty, it's bready, it's it's nothing um, citrusy or anything like that. It's very malty, biscuity, bready. There's a slight sweet edge to it, which could be the wine, um, but for me. It's a bit, what was it, 4.5? Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, it is a bit thin and watery in the mouthfeel. How much of the organic are we talking about here? Um, is it a couple of grains of organic malt in a vat of malt? Is it, is it a vat? <laughs> is it... <laughs> Is it a couple of hops, hop pellets in a big bag of non-organic hop pellets? You know, is it, you know, I don't know, six, six, sixty pallets of leaf fowl milk, blue nun, Audi special, chucked in the mix? It could be. Um, so overall, <laughs> it's overall um, is this beer worthy of a celebration? Is it fucking? Of course it isn't. <laughs> Would Charlie be drinking this after he's got the old crown stuck on his head? Um, nah, I don't think he would. Um, would I be? Nah. Um, what do I think of it? It's not. It's not good. It's to be honest. I'll bring the other three in. I'll bring the other three into the room and um, we'll dis discuss it between us. Hang on. So here they all are. Um, I've got to rate these from worst to best, I think, is the way to go. So the worst beer, and I'll tell you why. The worst out of the four is this one, definitely. Um, hot. You know, I had high hopes with this. You know, with the word organic, it sounds great, doesn't it? Organic India Pale Ale. But once I read the back about it being with white wine, you know, alarm bells, and I was proved right, the beer looks, you know, uninspiring. It tastes uninspiring. So for me, that is the worst one out of the four. Um... Second to worst, bad, but not that bad, I think it's the bitter. The bitter for me, um, it had notes, it had great notes. But for me, the it wasn't there in sufficient quantities within the taste of the beer. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's, it's just not, it just didn't feel like a proper bitter it was about halfway there a diluted bitter in a way so it's like so i'm pouring out one of my favorite yorkshire bitters and diluting it with water so that's why it's there um the second place i will give to the peels and the lager it wasn't bad to be honest it was okay but it wasn't all there. It wasn't a pure Pilsner for me. It fell short in the mouthfeel. Um, it lacked the, that cutting crispy edge Pilsners have. And the floral note, which I love in them. So that's why that's second. But the winner, and this was the beer I honestly thought would be the worst because it's not my favourite style of beer at all, was the Session Pale Ale. That one was pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty decent. So overall, I have to say, out of the Jubilee Aldi beers, the Session Pale Ale was the winner. So... <laughs> What do I know? What do I know? I'm just a drinker. I'm not an expert. No, I'm just a drink. you know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this one. Um, have a great day tomorrow. Tomorrow night, I'll be doing another Coronation beer.
can't wait. If you got you made it this far and the four uploads coming up tonight, then God bless you. See all of you again on another one. Bib bib.